get out of here when we push it on top this song. Pop the clutch and let it go. Nobody gonna stop us. Well, nobody gonna ever, gonna ever know. I said, hey there, mister, won't you just uh, give another man a helping hand? We need a job. Apparently these have like 20,000 volts stored in them. So you gotta take a screwdriver and short them out. Not short them, but take the charge off by touching two terminals together. So I did a bunch of touching. I'm gonna use pliers just in case to be safe. I noticed that the capacitors are different, so what I'm gonna do is take a picture and uh, go buy some, rather than blow them all and then I don't have no AC tonight. But I'll show you. This is the one, I'm not sure if it's good or not. And then this is the one I just took out from the other unit, and they're What's different. What's up guys? What's up everybody? Uh, back here, the air conditioner. Uh, I got to talking to some, to some people at the rally and it was brought to my attention once I started telling them about how the ampers were working on our gauge when uh, I turned the AC on it would be at like 5 ampers and then when the compressors tried to kick on it would kick over past 30 and then come back but the compressor would never come on <clears throat> and that's why some people were thinking it was the compressor but then I had another idea of checking the capacitor and not the capacitor I was checking, but another capacitor, which was the start capacitor. And I kind of didn't notice it because it wasn't big, bright, and silver, but it was black and round. And so when I was up there the first time, I never even looked at it. So I got home, took the cover back off, got in there, looked at it, pulled it out. And when I pulled it out, I saw that it was blown. So I'm gonna install a new capacitor. I went and got another one and hopefully that fixes our problem. And that will be a lot cheaper than a new AC. So let's get after it. So it was right down in here and I did, it was all covered up with these wires and I didn't really pay attention to it. So these are run capacitors and then this one, let me grab it. This one is the start capacitor. This is the one that holds all the volts. So you don't ever want to touch these because it stores power that gives the compressor enough voltage to start. So you want to touch this with two screwdrivers if it's already in here to go to take it out or you might get popped.
everybody we're down off the roof it's all put together up there and we are in the GNC so here is our AC controls and then here shows volts and ampers like right now I'm not drawing anything so what we'll do is we'll look at this gauge and see if the compressor kicks on Right now the fan's on. Takes about two minutes. I'll probably cut it out, but I'm gonna record the whole two minutes because I don't wanna miss it. Okay, well, that didn't work. <laughs> 